Guys, we are back inside Disney 2. We are here looking for Zero to find out what good loot he's got for us this week. You could locate him inside the EDZ at the Winnico location up on the cliff right next to the downfallen ship. So let's go find out what he's got. Zero has a lot of cool stuff this week, but we're going to take a look at all the exotic weapons and armor that Zero has for us. But the first thing I want to mention is to stay towards the end of the video so that when I go to decode this exotic engram, you'll be able to see what I can get. The first thing on this list, it is the Prospector Grenade Launcher. It takes up your heavy slot, and it is a good, good, good PvE weapon that you can clear out a bunch of ads. I mean, it's okay in PvP, but it's more of a PvE side of thing. Detonate multiple sticky flame grenades at once with a full auto trigger system. If you haven't got this done so, I haven't got it, so I'm going to go ahead and pick it up myself. So now it's in my inventory, so now I will be able to, like, at some point get the catalyst and all that good stuff for the Prospector. Let's take a look at all the exotic armor pieces that Zer has for us this week. The first thing on this list, it is the Orpheus Rig Leg Armor for the Hunter class. Basically what this does, grants you Deadfall, which gives you more ability energy. And the Mobius Quiver gives you an additional shot. And it gets a high resilience of plus 17 with a total of 61. This is an okay for PvP, but it's going to be better suited for you PvE people. So I would recommend picking this up if you love running the Boyd Hunter class. Let's take a look at something really good for you Titans this week, the Doom Fang Pauldron. This is something I would highly recommend picking up because of the stat rolls on this. It gives you a plus 21 mobility, plus 15 discipline and strength, giving you a total at 63. And basically what this does, it gives you void melee kills to give super energy and improve sentinel shield. Basically every time you throw your sentinel shield, it makes your super last longer. So this is something definitely going to be really cool. As far as PvE is concerned, it's not going to be something good for PvP because there ain't really nothing there because the resilience and recovery is down. But this is going to be pretty cool if you take this into PvE. So I recommend picking this up if you haven't already done so. So now we take a look at the exotic piece for the Warlocks. We have the Crown of Tempest helmet, which is a really good helmet if you are loving the arc side of things with your Warlock. Basically what this does, it gives you arc ability or jolt final blows, restores arc abilities. And this got a plus 20 recovery, so this is definitely going to be really good for the PvP side of things because of the recovery. I mean, you could take it in PvE, but this is going to be one of those things that you want to be into PvP with because it will give your abilities back every time you melee, you know, shoot somebody with a jolt. Let's take a look at the other two exotic weapons we have. We have the Dead Man's Tail with the Cranial Spike Perk and Outlaw, and we have the Hot Moon Hand Cannon with the Paracausal Shot. And surplus, neither one of these are not going to be worth your while of picking up. So I would save your solid ciphers, send it shards, your glimmer, your legendary shards, anything. Unless you just want to pick them up and add it to your collection. But I wouldn't recommend picking these up. I would wait until Zerg brings them back next week. Maybe they will have a better perk than what they got now. I mean, yeah, the outlaw will be good. But it's not going to be something that you're going to want to take in either PvE or PvP. So I would just wait until you get something that's going to be better. That would be able to suit your play style. Now we're going to take a look at the legendary weapons that I think will be suitable for PvP or PvE. The first one on this list is going to be the Grid Skipper with the heating up and high impact reserves. Basically what the high impact reserves does when it gets down to the last few rounds in the magazine, those will deal increased damage to the person you're shooting at. So this is definitely going to be worth it going in PvP with it, especially with it being a Pulse Rifle. So you get like three rounds and those last three rounds are going to be dealing the most damage. Then we have the Icarus SMG with the Pulse Monitor and Surrounded. That is also another fun gun that you can have going into the PvE side of things. Because the Pulse Monitor will help you like reload and everything. Even if the weapon is stowed, you can still reload it that way. And Surrounded basically gives you the increased damage with more enemies around. And sometimes in PvP, you are surrounded by a couple of enemies. So that would be definitely worth it. And then we have the Corsair's Wrath Linear Fusion Rifle with no distractions and relentless. That is going to be really good for PvP because if someone tries to shoot you or, you know, you, the flinching and everything, you won't get no distractions from it. So you'll be able to get that clean shot on that Guardian or, you know, going into the War Priest or something like that where you need that clean shot. That I, that would be recommended. Then we have the Nightwatch Outlaw Multi-Kill Clip. This is going to be a really good gun to take inside the PvP side of things because the Outlaw with the fast reloading and the Multi-Kill Clip, that would also give you the extra damage. So this is something that I would recommend going into and it can also be good good for the pve side of things basically when you start getting multi kills and all that stuff this would definitely work out in your favor as well so these weapons these four weapons i highly recommend picking up now we're going to take a look at the legendary armor set this week's set it is going to be the braytech set and all these pieces of armor has got some really good stuff but the legs on the braytech is going to give you a plus 15 
Mobility plus 15 discipline plus 15 intellect and a plus 14 with recovery giving you a total of 63 This is definitely going to be the piece of equipment that you want to pick up if you haven't already done So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up because it's got some really good perks to it Because that could be something really good for my solar titan if I want to use it as a solar or something along the lines I know I picked up some arms last week that has some really good perks to it So I recommend go ahead and pick up the boots or if you haven't done so pick up the entire set Delete it and you'll have this in your cosmetic side of things where you'll be able to use it as an ornament. Now guardians, we are about to do this Russian roulette. We are about to see what we are able to get. Hopefully it's something that I don't already have. I mean, I would love to have something different, but you never know. Let's go ahead. Let's see what Sarah gives us. Give us the drum roll. Oh, the lion rampants. I got this last time. I'm going to stop doing this because he keeps giving me the same exotics over and over and over. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't believe that we got some really good stuff this week as far as the Titans and Warlocks are concerned. And I will definitely be seeing you this Sunday as we are going to be grinding some double XP Gambit. They get a bunch of stuff and I do have a couple of missions that I have to do as well. So make sure you stop on in for the live stream this Sunday. I am Death of Gaming, and remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification because guys, you don't want to miss it. Remember Guardians, eyes up.